Yeah, thank you for joining me on today's video. It is all about morning routines. I'm here to share with you what my morning routine looks like, which is extremely quick, but it really is the difference between having a crappy day and an amazing day. The days that I don't do my morning routine are just, I feel is so exhausted. I'm just dragging my feet trying to get through the day. And then it feels like everything is just falling apart and going to shit when really it's just my mindset. So the importance of a morning routine, it is so huge. It really does make the difference between having a crappy day and a successful day. And I'm here to show you how I do mine, why, what I incorporate in it and why I incorporate it so that you can create one that's amazing for you, that you can add to your life no matter how long or short you decide to make it. So let's dive right in. The first thing I do is a face wash. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, this used to not be part of my morning routine. I would do it very sporadically and the breakouts were next level for someone who's not a teenager. So doing this has become a very important part of my morning routine. It also just wakes me up and makes me feel like I've actually accomplished things before the day even starts. So it's a fantastic feeling. I put on some serums, moisturizer with SPF, and then I go make my coffee by selecting one of the mugs that I have purchased from different countries. It's one of the things that I collect when I travel. Um, coffee is really the fuel to my day. I need to start with a coffee. It just really sets the day for me. Then I take my supplements to feel healthy in the morning. And then I head outside onto my balcony because this view is next level for continuing my morning routine. I have my beautiful egg chair set up. It's so boho and chic. I love it. Then I dive straight into my meditation. It's usually about a five minute long meditation. I can't really stay in the meditation for too long. Then I go straight into my meditation to jot down anything that came up during my meditation or work through some journal prompts as well is very helpful here. And then if I have some time, then I'll do some reading of a couple of pages of whatever book I'm reading that day. I also want to share with you some of the variations or other things that I add on to my routine, especially on the weekend. One of them is oracle cards. Usually I just use my intuition to pick a card and then I read from the book what that means. And on Fridays or the weekend, it's always a dance party. I mean, who doesn't want to rock out? The key to a morning routine is to do something for the mind, something for the soul, and something for the body. The timing doesn't necessarily matter as to how long your morning routine is. The idea is to do something, preferably early in the morning, to prioritize yourself so that you're connected to you, your emotions, what it is that you want to do for the day. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe for the next video that'll be coming out shortly.